try something a little bit different with my video today. Instead of using my pen and my Bible to point out the verses, I'm starting to have a little bit of eyesight problems, more so than normal, and I'd appreciate you, uh, your prayers for it, as it's kind of alarming, but in light of that, I was sitting around thinking about things today and, you know, just generally praying and trying to figure out what in the world's going on and what am I going to do about it. I've got two choices. If I'm losing my eyesight completely, I can turn away and walk away from God, which will accomplish nothing. Or I can continue on and not bow to the pressure. And that led me back to one of the greatest statements of faith I think I've heard ever. And I don't know if you've ever heard it put this way before, but I'm going to play you some audio and we're going to read uh, verse 16, 17, and 18 together. Um, well, verse, uh, yeah, verse 18. We're going to read this together. I'm reading from the Christian Standard Bible. If you want a minute to go find yours, you can go right ahead and I'll wait for you. I've, I'm, while I'm waiting for you, I've noticed that i um, got over 100 subscribers and I really appreciate it. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm not a pastor. I'm just a lay person who has a passion to study God's word and a passion to encourage people. I may never be a pastor or anything like that, but that doesn't mean I can't do the things God has called me to do, and that's to be an encouragement, whether I'm successful, whether I've failed, or whether I'm standing back up, and I think that's something we can all do. All right, so hopefully you got your Bibles. You've opened to Jan Daniel chapter 3, starting at verse 16, and I'm going to play the audio from this application that I'm using, okay? Here we go. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, we don't need to give you an answer to this question. If the God we serve exists, then he can rescue us from the furnace of blazing fire. And he can rescue us from the power of you, the king. But even if he does not rescue us, we want you as king to know that we will not serve your gods or worship the gold statue you set up. Now that's a pretty bold statement he made right there. And this is why I say this is a giant statement of faith. There's a lot of doctrine going around today where, and I see this on Facebook, and it says, don't joke around with this prayer. By nine o'clock, God will give you X amount of money. And I can't think, help but think about all the people who believe that and nine o'clock in the morning rolls around and they're just as broke as they always have been. It's dangerous. It's disastrous. But how many of us love God as much as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who said that even if he doesn't rescue us, we're not bowing down to the idols of the world. We're not bowing down to the statue you've set up. We're not going to bow down to the world's entertainment. We're not going to bow down to our circumstances. We're not going to bow down to our poverty. We're not going to bow down, in my case, to the possibility of losing all the sight that I have. I remember in the Gospels, Jesus asked the disciples, are you going to leave me too? And they said, Lord, where, should, where shall we go? Only you have the answers. And saints, that's the truth. Only God has the answers. And so let's be like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and be ready to stand up and honor God and believe that he'll rescue us, but serve him even if he doesn't. Amen. You guys have a great night. I hope you have a blessed Sunday at church. And once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. God bless. Thank you so much for being a part of this ministry.